Hey y'all, so I just wanted to show you quickly how I make the covers for my um, YouTube videos and my videos for my kids' class recordings super quick. Um, so Bitmoji has this brand new, um, I guess it's not brand new, fairly newish um, feature that you can type in whatever word you want and then it will just pop them in the Bitmoji, which is pretty cool. So I just pick a background color. Um, sometimes I change it after based off of the colors that pop up when I do my Bitmoji. So I go to my little girl and I type in, for example, let me say science recording. Let's say science class recording. And sometimes y'all, I have to like mess around because sometimes it only takes a certain number of letters. So that's perfect because it works. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then y'all, if you don't like this, what I do is I X and then I X out and then I go back in. Sometimes you don't even need to exit out of it. And then I pop it back in and you get like a different set of them, which is pretty cool. So like the fries, um, oh my gosh, that one's so cute. And then same thing, y'all, I just keep going. Like if I don't like them, I just keep doing it over and over and over again until I find ones that I like to do. And then if I want like a second title and I want to use the same um, letters, I just search it again. So let's say I want to put the date. So I can pop this up and I can put Thursday. If I could type, y'all. I don't even know what the date was Thursday. 27th. Okay, so I can do that. And then now I try to find ones that are kind of up top or on the bottom that I can kind of cut out easily. And I'll show you all what I mean. So, for example, let's try this one. And this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'll change the background color depending on what I pick. And then I double click. And then now I'm going to remove my Bitmoji. And then now I just have those cute letters. And then I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. Um, for instance, the one that I just made, like I arranged it so that I could have her kind of pointing at it. And I can make it even a little bit smaller. And then um, all I do, y'all, is I go to File, Download, and then I save it as a JPEG. And then I can go to my video on my YouTube. And when I hit Edit, I can go and I can change the thumbnail and then I can make that um, the thumbnail picture for my video. And it makes it super easy for the kids to identify what the video is. Um, and this isn't the right video, of course. <clears throat> so let me get this one. And then I just go here and I go to edit video and then I can change the thumbnail and then I pop it right into my playlist. Hey y'all, Miss Gina Brown. <laughs> oh my goodness, my voice. Y'all, does everybody hate the sound of their voice? <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to change the thumbnail, and it makes it very easy for the kids. Oh, so it was the right video. I got confused because it had that weird picture. Okay, and then, yeah, and then I save it, um, make it public. I always say no and not for made, made for kids because if I add <clears throat> cards to the video, like I want to link to other cards, I have to put that in there. And then this was... I think this was actually an avid class recording y'all so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna put the right picture which is this one I believe yes perfect okay y'all and then I pop it in my avid class binder and I hit save and then now that's the brand new cover page to my brand new video um, yeah so that's just a quick easy way so that way you're not inserting pictures of yourself and you're not having to worry about doing the font and the colors it just does it all for you which is pretty cool hope that was helpful y'all